वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द प्ले एंड एनिम ऑफ द पीपल इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन द फर्स्ट हाफ पार्ट ऑफ एक्ट फाइव एंड यून अलॉन्ग विथ द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट हाफ पार्ट आई विल शो यू द ड्रामा ऑन द डायस द सेटिंग इज डॉक्टर स्टॉकमन्स स्टडी रूम the window panes are broken the doctor is picking up stones that have been thrown through the windows means in the fifth act we have very terrible and horrible situation of dr fast uh, dr stockman the people outside the door are throwing the stones at the house of dr stockman the windows are broken of his house his landlord sends a letter giving the stockmans notice that they have to move out means uh, the house where the family is living is not the house of dr stockman uh, he lives in that house on fair he uh, so he wants to or he has to leave this house the doctor doesn't care because he is um, taking his family to the new world on horster's next boat he has prepared mentally that he will not stay in doc- in this uh, village or in this town mrs stockman asks him if they should move to another town in norway and uh, their discussion goes on regarding how to settle their family uh, in other house and other town but dr stockman replies that the population will be the same wherever he goes and he doesn't want his sons to grow up among the lap dogs of norway he thinks that in the new world things might be different so they are ready to leave the town because now there is no value to the doctor uh, to the well uh, to the principles of dr stockman at the same time petra enters even though her supervisor at the school is uh, free thinking she has been fired because of anonymous threats her supervisor received captain horster arrives he has been given a notice by wick the owner of the ship he says he is not worried he can easily get a job with an out of town ship owner and he does not regret helping the stockmans the mayor arrives and he and doctor go to talk in private the mayor has come to give the doctor notice regarding his position as medical officer of the baths and to ask the doctor to leave town for a while if after 6 months or so the doctor will publicly retract his statement he might be hired again the doctor furiously refuses then the mayor suggests that he has a reason for feeling so secure in the defiance morten kills will the doctor does not understand and the mayor explains that kill has provided for mrs stockman and the children in his will the doctor is jubilant and when the mayor suggests that kill might redraw his will in light of doctor's recent actions the doctor exclaims that on the contrary kill is happy to see the doctor causing trouble for the authorities the mayor then accuses the doctor of merely speaking out in order to curry favor with kill and secure his family a part of the inheritance the mayor then leaves announcing that now that he has a weapon to use against the doctor he can never get his job back the doctor orders his wife to scrub wherever the mayor has been so uh, the half part of the play exposes how the mayor is going to destroy the peace uh, and uh, the jobs of all those people who are concerned to dr stockman 
the captain's job has been uh, deprived but captain doesn't lose his confidence and he is ready to support dr stockman because he believes that he will definitely get a job somewhere else petra's job was also taken by the supervisor because the supervisor was a free thinker man his unknown threat forces him to fire petra dr stockman was also fired from his job to be the officer of the town due to his invention in this way the half first half part of the last act exposes the miserable condition of dr foster's eight he doesn't lose his confidence he doesn't lose his belief on himself by the end of an enemy of the people dr stockman's position has changed several times sometimes he seems to be proud that he is an enemy of the people but early in act 5 he says that the words wound him and are lodged in his heart what is constant is a sense of honor and a short temper his partial embrace of the title enemy of the people is full of sarcasm as seen when he turns on hostad and slackson with his cane he spoke out against the tyranny of the majority but uh, he still sees that men like hostad have a lot of control and he is sincerely happy to be hostad's enemy thus he eagerly calls himself an enemy of the people to hostad's face implying that corrupt hostad is the real enemy means the <coughs> play it means the half part of the act 5 exposes how the nature of dr stockman has been changed and how he is ready to give the justice to himself by depriving the characters like uh, slackson or hostad and he easily calls himself an enemy of the people to prove that he is not an enemy but all those people who are attempting to deprive him are the enemy of the people now i'd like to show you the play on the dais you just enjoy the remaining part of the drama on the dais thank you thank you very much all right then you got to get this one straight please if you're planning some other attack against us from some other source keep this in mind the moment it's published i will get a subpoena and i will have you prosecuted for financial conspiracy Well, I've been trying to get you to be respectable my entire life. And now, if you're going to make the big jump, there's going to be no one there to hold you back. Now, do we understand each other? Oh, yes, Peter. We certainly do. <laughs> Enjoy. Can we have five minutes of your time? All right, say it quick. What do you want? We don't expect you to forgive our earlier attitude at the meeting. Oh well, your attitude was prone, prostrated, prostituted. Okay, okay. Call it what you want. I have a lot on my mind. So get to the point. What do you want, doctor? You should have told us what was behind it all. You could have had change of vision behind you all the way. You would have had public opinion with you by now. Why didn't you tell us? Look, I'm very tired. Let's not beat around the bush. Miss Morton's been all over town buying up stock in Emo. It's not a secret anymore. Yeah, what about it? Well, you don't want us to spell it out, do you? <laughs> I certainly wish you would. All right, all right. Let's lay it on the table. The slats and do you want to? No, no. Go ahead. Well, in the beginning, we supported you. But it quickly became clear that in the face of public hysteria, your magazine created the hysteria by running Peter's piece. One thing at a time, okay? We couldn't go on supporting you because in simple language we didn't have the money to withstand the loss in subscriptions. I mean you're boycotted now. The paper would have been boycotted too if we had stuck with you. You can see that, doctor? Sure. What do you want? Well, change of vision can put on such a campaign. 
that in two months you will be hailed as a hero for BioInnovate. We are ready to go. We will prove to the public that you had to buy up the stock because the management wouldn't make the changes required for the public health. In other words, you did it for absolutely scientific, public-spirited reasons. Now, what do you say, Elise? You want money from it, is that it? Well, no, doctor, no, no, don't walk around it. If we started to support you again, Elise, we would lose subscribers for a while. We want you, or Miss Morton, rather, to pick up the deficit. Now that's open and above board, and I don't see anything wrong with it. Do you? Doctor, remember, you need the media on your side. You need it desperately. No. There's nothing wrong about it at all. I'm not at all averse of cleaning up my name. Though for me, it was never dirty. But I don't enjoy being hated. You understand what I mean? Exactly. Miss Lagson, will you show her the budget? Just a minute. I hate to keep repeating myself. But the emote is still flawed. Now, Elise. Just a minute. To pay for the additional research and the clinical trials, the board needs to reduce the subsidies among the other startups at BioInnovate. I assume that you're going to support that at the same time you're supporting me. That would be extremely unpopular, Doctor. We have faith that with you back in charge of the scientific side of BioInnovate, no one will get hurt. In any other words, you're cleaning up my name so that I can be in charge of the corruption. Now, Elise, a reduction in subsidies, there'd be an uproar. It could ruin us. People wouldn't see us on their side anymore. Then you don't intend to do anything about the image. We have faith that you won't let anyone get hurt. In other words, you are looking for someone to blackmail into paying your bills. We are trying to clear your name, Elise, and if you refuse to cooperate, if that's going to yeah. be your attitude. Yeah, what? What? Go on. What will you do? I think we better go. What will you do? Tell me. Me, the person two minutes ago you were going to make into a hero. What will you do if I won't pay you? Doctor, we were down at Bayonobe this morning. People were almost hysterical. Tell me what you do to my face. The board will prosecute you for conspiracy to destroy a corporation. And without the media behind you, you will end up in prison. And you will support him, won't you? I want this from your mouth, Alex. You won't deny me this small victory. Tell me, tell the hero. You are going on, on cruising, fine hero. Are you not? Say it to me, you will not leave here until I get this from your mouth. You are a crazy bitch! And don't excuse me with your humanitarian slogans, because right now you are dragging yourself and your husband through a lifetime of disgrace. What kind of person does that? A harpy! A harpy who cares more about the perfection of a product than the lives of the people around her. Elise, you deserve everything you're gonna get! money and in two months time I promise your your entire life will change Goodbye Let us know what you decide and we'll Goodbye Doctor you could have everything you want except the truth I could have everything except that that the evil is hurting people but you'll be in charge Out! What are you doing? <laughs> hey hey <laughs> Tell me that. 
but they believed you. Oh, they'd love to murder you, but they believed you. Now, the word on the street is that the defect is due to faulty binding site predictions. That is exactly where the problem is coming from. Bad binding site predictions. Yes. And do you remember who made those predictions? My late husband's company. Well, Ethel, I never kept that a secret to you, that that was the problem. Now, I'm not blaming you, girl. Bad science is bad science. <laughs> I didn't take you seriously in the early days, and neither did the board. Well, now it's serious. If the emote is sunk due to this, no one will work with us again. And I don't like having the finger pointed at me. Well, I'm afraid you cannot prevent it from happening. No, but you can. Me? Now, I bought these stocks because I have... Ethel, you have thrown your money away. The emote is doomed. Now I don't throw my money away, Elise. It was bought with your money. <laughs> <coughs> my money? <coughs> what money? Perhaps you suspected I might leave a little something aside for Nate and any eventual grandchildren. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Change your opinion about the emote. 